Hi everyone, this is Sabiyuddin. I'm Siddiqui, and now I'm going to present you memory units, past part two. So today you will learn about that how the memory units are calculated. See, first of all, now these are the memory units. Basically, what to do with these memory memory units and how to make the size of these different. Uh, memories so you can easily calculate the size first of all i'm just writing the table here uh, this is the smallest one bit could be either 0 or 1 then you have a nibble nibble or nibble which is equals to 4 bits then you have a byte which is equals to 8 bits then you have a flow byte which is 1024 bytes remember that for bytes uh, I'm just writing the B in capital and if the if the bits are there that will be written in small the B will be written in small for bits for representing bits and uh, bytes will be bytes B will be represent will be written in capital letter. So remember that. So then after kilobyte you have a megabyte. You have a megabyte that is one zero two four kilobytes. Then you have a Then you have a after that megabyte, gigabyte, which is equal to one zero two four megabytes, right? Then you have a terabyte, which is equal to one zero two four gigabyte right and then after a terabyte you have a after that you have a petabyte which is equals to 1024 terabytes then you have a exabyte which is equals to 1024 petabytes and then you have a then you have a zeta byte which is equals to 1024 exabytes and then you have a jota byte which is equals to 1024 zeta byte right so this is the uh, whole uh, scenario about that how the sizes are different from these uh, byte bits and bytes so you have to remember all this table so you will see that this is the part number one for this and then you will see that the next one is here this is the two second part right so you will see that this is or this is the two okay so i hope you will like this thanks for watching